Good morning, Kiddo Kids, and welcome to your Wednesday, January 17th. And today we actually have a, a news broadcast from the newsroom for you. Just want to give you a heads up, though. They say Monday, uh, obviously, it was a mistake with Martin Luther King Jr. Day, on top of the fact that we didn't have any inter- internet yesterday, so Tuesday was off the, the books, too. So just forgive that little, uh, you know, flub right there. But, anyways, uh, Kira and uh, Lucian have the news for you, so take it away, guys. Good morning, Kendall Kids. I'm Lucian Buki. And I'm sure to have a report with the Monday morning announcements. If you're one of the many students here at Kendall Elementary with a younger sibling, you probably know the suffering we've all been through when in close proximity to the very young kids. You mean the noise? The strangely sticky hands. Boots yeah. flying through the air every time they eat? No, I'm talking about the dreaded dirty diapers. Many of us have suffered through the unwanted smell of an overripe sibling. But now those loaded diapers may be the answer to both the world's housing crisis and our overflowing landfills. That's right. Some innovative scientists in Japan has, have really recently figured out how to use dirty diapers as a building material. Apparently, the so- soiled diapers go through a process to remove most of the waste and then are compacted at high temperatures and pressure to create high-strength, load-bearing components. Yeah, I bet they're load-bearing. Couldn't assess that one, eh? And another bizarre science story. A scientist and YouTube personality who goes by the name of Dr. Deep has become the first human to live for 100 days underwater without surfacing. That's why Dr. Deep, also known as Dr. Joseph Duturi spent 100 days in an underwater hotel pad about 30 feet below the surface of the Florida Lagoon. This act has given Dr. Deep the Guinness Book of World Record title of longest time living underwater without depressurization. Sounds like a tough record to beat. Yeah, I guess you could say it was a titanic feat. No, it's not like that one. He oh. dove into the record box. Oh. <laughs> the record made a real splash. He made some real waves in the underwater community. Well, that's the use for you today, Mr. King. Back no, you, Mr. King. No, wait. I have more. He could have gone deeper, but it was too much pleasure. You could say the old record was all washed up. The record might get broken, but don't hold your breath. All right, thanks, guys. So hearing from the newsroom is nice, but let's find the flag in the room and... Please rise for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Alright, Crazy Kid Kids, let's talk a little about food for the day. On the menu, we have a tuna sandwich or popcorn chicken with roll, whipped potatoes, broccoli, mixed fruit, and milk. What's going on with that weather outside? It's going to be cold, cold, cold. Right now, it's about 10 degrees. We're looking at a high today of only about 23 with some wind making it feeling much, much colder than that. Um, We're going to get much of the same kind of weather, even colder on Saturday. Coming up tomorrow and Friday are also going to be high only in the low to mid-20s. Uh, And Sunday is going to be much the same, but at least we get a little sunshine to make it feel uh, a little bit warmer. Monday, there is a warm-up along with wintry mix coming for Tuesday and getting even warmer up into the 40s midweek next week. So the cold weather is not here to stay, but it's here for a little while. So make sure that you are wrapping up tight, got the gloves, the hat, the full winter wear, because we are in full upstate New York winter right now. Let's do that portion of our announcements we like to call Kendall Canines, where we're not going to talk at all about a canine, because today we have uh, Caspian Sweats. Uh, Preston really wanted to show off this awesome picture of him wearing these sweet butterfly sunglasses. So I don't really have the ability to give Caspian the regular points for a canine, because he doesn't happen to be a dog, but we're going to give him, like, plus 400 gold coins. Okay. That works. Anyways, let's finish out our announcements with that mission statement. 
The mission of the Kendall Central School District to provide knowledge, skills, values, and attitudes needed by students to live responsibly and compete successfully in today's and tomorrow's world. Well, I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday, and if I don't get a chance to see it, remember to stay colorful, Kendall.